Hello fellow developers, welcome back to IAS Tech. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to validate phone numbers using reactive forms in Angular 17. This approach offers more flexibility and control, making it a favorite among Angular developers. So let's jump in. Before we begin, ensure you have Angular 17 and its CLI installed. If you are new to this, we recommend watching our videos on Angular that we have recorded on our channel. You can learn from there. First, let's set up our Angular project. Open your terminal and run this command ng new and your project name. This will create a new project for you. Once the project has been created, navigate to your project by using the cd command and your project name. This can be any project that you prefer. Now open that project in your favorite editor. I will be using VS Code. I already have created my project so I will be using this. This is a very simple from the beginning. Now let's create a component for our form. For that run the command ng generate component and the name of the component phone form. It can be any name whatever you prefer. This will create a new component for our phone number form. Now let's go to that component and add the code that we need. Now I will define a property here phone form and I will give it a type form group and I will make it optional because right now we are not initializing it. Now I need to inject a service that is form builder is equal to I will use the inject function because I am using Angular 17 so it is possible to use the inject function instead of injecting from injecting it from the constructor. Now I will give it the service that I want to inject. I want to inject form builder. Make sure to import the form builder and form group and also the inject function from Angular core. All right. As I am using standalone component so I will use the imports array here of the of this component and I will import the reactive forms module. If you are using app module, then instead of importing the reactive form module here, you will import it in your relevant module. In most of the cases, you will be using the app module. So you can just import it in the app module. In that way, the reactive form would be available. So if you're, you are using, you are not using standalone components and you are using modules, then when you are importing the module, make sure that import this module in that module that is uh, that is declaring the component that you are currently working on okay now i need to implement the ng on init make sure to import on init class from the angular core now we will declare the method here ng on init to implement it now in this function I will initialize the phone form property this dot phone form is equal to this dot form builder dot group and I will call this function then I will pass an object to it and that object will have all of the properties that I want to keep in it and these properties would be the fields of our form that we will have in the HTML so let's add phone number and here by default i am giving it the empty value and in the second at the second property on the one index of this array would be the validators so our first validator would be the make sure to import the validators class from the angular forms first and then use dot required property here and this will make sure that you, you don't keep the phone number field empty now in order to validate the phone number we will use a regular expression so add a second parameter uh, second validator use the validators dot pattern function and in this function i will pass the regular expression so let's type it in that regular expression i will add this code to validate my phone number i will explain this regular expression as well after i will complete it after that i need to create a getter and this getter will return the controls of a phone form so it is saying that it can it is possibly undefined to get rid of this error i will just add the question mark here 
now i will define the on submit function and this function will console the value of the form and also let me add the if condition here and here i will check that if this dot phone form is invalid then simply return so this will terminate the process of this function and nothing will happen below okay so now let me quickly explain in our phone form component we first import the form builder here we imported the form builder we also imported the form group and we also imported the validators from angular forms our component class initializes a form group with the name phone form and in the ng on init method we use the form builder to create our form with one field phone number this field is required and uses a regular expression to validate the format now let's discuss uh, this regular expression so this let me actually zoom it so that you can clearly see it so this caret sign this mean uh, assert this asserts the start of the string and this part it is it will optionally match a plus sign useful for international formats and this part this one this matches a sequence of 10 to 15 digits accommodating various phone number lengths and this part this asserts the end of the string so this pattern validates number with or without a plus sign and ensures that they are 10 to 15 digits long now let's write down our html file and complete that so here i will add actually we have to go to the phone form component.html let me zoom out again okay here i will add my form tag and in that form i will add a directive form group and i will give it the form group that i defined in my component so as we made it optional so that's why it is giving an error that it can be undefined so we have to fix that we can wrap it in the ng container and i can add if condition actually we don't need the let me add the if condition around it here i will check that phone form if this is defined then show this section okay now here i will add a div <coughs> and that in that div i will add a label and an input so this input will have the type text and we also need to add the form control name and make sure that the, pro the value of this attribute matches the field that you have defined here so in our case it is the phone number so i will match it so after that i will add a div to show the error messages so here i will add few conditions so let me wrap it in the if condition now i will add my conditions here f dot phone number as you know f is getter that as that is giving us the controls okay also i will use this and here i will return the type any to get rid of that error okay now here i will use errors and f dot phone number dot dirty and here i will use the r operator so i'm checking if the phone number is dirty or if phone number is touched so if any of these conditions become true so this is the main condition and within the parenthesis these are the optional conditions so one of these con two conditions should be true so if this becomes true then we will show the errors within this div so our very first error is small tag that will show the phone number is required and second error message would be invalid phone number format okay now i will wrap it in the if condition so if and here i will add f dot phone number dot errors dot required so if we got this specific error then this will show this tag and here i will use the pattern error to show this tag at the end i will display the submit button 
and the type would be submit. So in our template, we bind the form with the phone form property using the form group directive. We then bind the input field to the phone number form control. We also add the validation feedback to inform the user of any errors like missing or incorrectly formatted numbers. Now let's see our form in action. So if your application is not running already, you can simply run this command ng serve. This will run it. You can also use dash o that will automatically open the app in the browser. So once it is opened, let's look at it there. So it will not immediately display that because we created a separate component, but we did not add it in our app module. So for that in the app component, I am not using app module. So I'm using app component that is standalone component. So I will instead of declaring my phone form component, I will simply import that phone form component here. Now I'm able to use it in my app component. So here I will add app phone form. Okay. Now you can see it is visible. So you can see that I touched, I touched the input and it is showing the first error. Now, if I add the incorrect phone number, you will see that it will show the error, that invalid phone number. Okay. So as soon as you make it correct, according to your pattern, then the error message will be gone. Okay. And there you have it. You have successfully created a phone number validation from using Angular 17's reactive forms. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. For more Angular tips and tricks, remember to subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or need further clarification, leave a comment below. Happy coding and see you in the next one.